Hi, I'm Ron Falk, and this tool tip is a tool vest. It seems I get more emails asking about my tool vest than just about any other tool I use in my videos. I want to take a couple of minutes to answer all the questions that I've been getting. First off, the brand is Skiller. This is a brand, I believe it's made in Australia, and I found it quite by accident. I was shopping around for carpenter's pants and I found good reviews on the Skiller brand and the Australians really love the stuff and talk about how durable it is. So I got a pair of the carpenter's pants and when I was shopping for it, I also found their carpenter's vest or their carpenter's apron. So I ordered uh, this at the same time. Now currently, I do not think they're imported into the US anymore. I can't find them except some leftover stock on Amazon and things like that. So right up front, I'll tell you about the vest, but I know there's other carpenters out there that have other brands that are equally as well made and as functional. So in the comments in this video, if you guys with, with carpenters uh, vests like this in other brands that you can get in the United States, if you can make a comment, maybe provide a link, talk a little bit about it, um, that'll help answer the question about those that are in the U.S. that can't get this Skiller brand. Now, of course, those around the world in other countries, you can check and see if it's available in your country. And of course, in Australia, I'm sure uh, they're available there. The vest itself, it's, uh, it's a well-made product. It's, it's, it's ventilated, so it's not the solid, um, thick, material that would get real hot in the summer. So it, it does, uh, it has this open mesh and a lot of uh, breathability. It has a belt and of course, just like on the backpack, you wanna carry about 70% of your weight on your hips, otherwise you'll you know, have back problems and shoulder problems. Additionally, it has a flap that folds out. So I've got one that fits me well, but in the winter when I'm wearing heavier coats, it's got a flap with an additional zipper that pops out so that it creates a little more room for thicker clothing. My goal, of course, is not to work in cold weather. When I'm working on a job, there's just so many little tools that I need to have, you know, right at hand so that I can keep moving and be efficient. And I just find the vest allows me to have multiple pockets and distribute the weight and also to organize a little bit better. So in the upper vest, you know, I'm able to carry the, the vinyl notepads, I'm sure you've all seen me use in my other videos. My pencil is right here at hand. The reason I'm pointing out the vest and not the bag portion is you can build up this set any way you want. If you're an electrician or plumber, you can build it up different ways. They sell different bags that, that hook on. And I chose these three bags. I picked the three bag, bags out independently and then they attach uh, with some loops. Um, actually to the to the vest and to the you know and, and not the belt so there's some loops there and they kind of go around and and clip in so they so they carry uh, very well and and I chose them based on their organization and just to give you an idea of <clears throat> how much stuff I carry it's not a light vest but it carries really well when I'm doing crown molding and hanging doors I use this uh, cordless uh, fusion gun and it has a hook right on it and it's very convenient there's a I think it's a hammer loop that I don't use that I can drop that on so when I'm up on a ladder um, I can you know be using this and then just hook it right on there uh, so that that's handy obviously that adds a lot of weight but it but it carries it very well <clears throat> so as I said I have my pencil my pad on and uh, a couple of uh, black markers and a pin, a nail puller, and a, and a pry bar, a razor knife, bead square, a screwdriver that uh, has multiple tips. This is an add-on hammer loop. I believe this was the normal one, but I, they, the hammer bangs my knee and I, I don't like it right on the side, so I added the hammer loop. That's, I like to carry it just almost to my back. Not I have uh, stud finder, rags, I have a couple of nail sets, a springy nail set separate tip, but these uh, ones I saw painters using to set nails when they're filling holes, and I've, I found this to be the best nail set. Tools that are foldable, I carry a couple of chisels, fold out so the tips stay nice and sharp. I have a couple of different sizes of the chisels, flush saw, and all, all that fold up and, and fit nicely in my bag. Uh, my backup tape measure always, you know, it, it never fails. I've got it my main tape, and I'll lay it down somewhere and be somewhere else, and 
it didn't put it back on, so I always throw an extra one on. And then I added this uh, speed clip for uh, my tape measure. This is, this is not part of the Skiller set. This is actually from FastCap. And I like this one. Uh, the, the tape fits on there. It keeps, you know, I, I put it right up front. The tape fits on nice and easy. And what I really like about it, it's got a pencil sharpener. So when I'm working away, I don't want to have to go back to the trailer. I also keep additional pencil sharpeners. And I'm able to just uh, right here, just at, put the tip you know, right on my pencil and keep it nice and sharp. That's a pretty common load. I usually leave the tools in my bag, most of them anyway. And then when I grab my bag, they're ready to go. If I'm transitioning to some specialty work like hardwood or something like that, if I'm going to use my nail, nail bags, I'll change the load. They allow me to organize and uh, just carry what I need and carry it well and evenly on the body. I'm five foot ten and, you know, kind of a you know, medium-sized guy, and I wear a large. You can see right through it, so you don't get hot and sweaty. The stitching is real nice, just a well-made vest. I've had this one for a lot of years, and it's been on a lot of jobs. It's covered in glue and sawdust and all those things, but uh, none of the stitching is coming loose. None of the, none of the snaps have come loose. It's, uh, you know, just a, a very well-made product, and like I said, uh, I'm sure there's other brands that you can get in the U.S. and hopefully you guys will answer uh, the call and talk about uh, your vest and, and, and hopefully provide a link so people can look at it. And also the bags, these, again, these bags are, you know, it's modular so you can buy different bags for different purposes. So if you mention the bags that you have, that would be great as well. The vest also works great without the bag. So if you're going to go lighter and you just want to have some tools with you, um, you can you can dump these you can unclip these bags drop them and go with just the vest and, and run a little bit lighter and be a little bit more nimble so it's modular there's a lot of flexibility so hopefully all the questions that I get have been answered here it's not high tech it's just well made and well thought out so hopefully this helps thanks for taking the time to watch have a great day